And the way we go. Maybe I'll get everything I ever came for oh, and more. Shit. You know something? I completely what? forgot. There's something you're gonna have to do. Didn't you notice that when you were talking to one of the Stucky, uh, I'm sorry, Snucky's proprietors, there was some option in there to talk to him about that jar that you had with Jesse James' severed hand in it? Actually, I didn't notice. You didn't? Let's go back. Yeah. You're gonna have- It's a good thing you, it's, it's a good thing you brought up. it up. Yeah, because I believe that proprietor mentioned that he can open any jar, didn't he? Well, now we're in Arizona. Can we steal the uh, rift again? <laughs> and here is where you'll find the Salmon Max dress up game. It's really nothing to it. It's the Salmon Max dress up book. So, talk to the proprietor, who again looks nothing like Bernard. Because Bernard didn't have a mustache. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All snuggy you graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Ah, there we go. I noticed that there was stuff about, uh, you know, uh, Bruno the Bigfoot and another game that I got from over there, but... Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Empire Star. Anything else? I see what you did there. <laughs> I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be Just imagine what ha oh, how That'll much pain all. we'd be in if we Anything didn't pick up else? the money. Yeah. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Mm -hmm. Three, three, three. Ta -da! Anything else I can do for you? I guess that is worth uh, applause, to be perfectly honest. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Alright, sorry that I completely forgot that you had to open the jar, but now is really the time to really... Ice cream. Now is the time to really get to that ball of twine. Is there any way to play those uh, unofficial bootleg games? Yeah, all you have to do is go into your inventory and use the game. Oh, once we step out here where nobody can see us and judge us. <laughs> Why, well, you're gonna play some? Oh! Maybe. Sure. Give it a shot. I mean, we picked these up, oh, we picked these up for yeah, one reason, like, right? Yeah, like I said, Car Bomb is essentially Battleship. The coloring game is just, you know, something to waste time with. And the dress-up game is another thing to waste time with. The only one that's an actual legitimate game is Car Bomb, so... Well, let's give it a look. So, oh dear. So yeah, it's essentially battleship. What you gotta do is you gotta take your pieces and put them across your end of the map. You can move them around and right click to uh, reposition them horizontally or vertically. A hurts, huh? This, were, this must be where they got the idea for uh, Manny Calavera. <laughs> hmm. I mean, you've played battleship, right? Yeah, but I haven't played in years. Yeah, I mean, this is essentially what it is, with a couple of twists. For one thing, you'll uh, you see those little springs there? They're trampolines. Basically, if uh, if you hit if you hit them on the map, then they'll be redirected straight to your map in the exact same square that you clicked on, and the same works for Max. Basically, you're playing against Max, and the winner is the one who blows up all their cars. And also, there are a couple of nuclear bombs there, which will destroy everything in a 3x3 three three perimeter. Or a 3x3 oh, no. three three block, basically, if, you ever, if you're ever, if you desperate to find a certain uh, car. So, I just, uh, now that my pieces uh, are not set... Not all I of them. You need to set your two trampolines. Oh, okay. Then the game will oh. start. Where'd it go? It'll go anywhere you want it to. Take a shot. So, anywhere from up here, right? Yeah. Like I said, do forgive me, people. It's been so long since I played not only Battleship, but a board game in general. Miss. Oh, no. Miss. Miss. Oh, crap. Miss. Miss. 
Miss. Oh, I thought he had me for a second there. Miss. 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 So you say if I put a bomb on here, it'll just spring up on, on the exact same spot? On, yeah, on his board, though. Like, if he yeah. hits it, then it will go back to his It will go back to his map and hit the exact same position it's in. But if you hit his trampoline, it'll go back to your map and hit it in the same so position that it was corresponding ear. to it, basically. Ah, so basically, if he drops something on this spot, it'll go back to him. Okay, yeah. I got it. and vice versa. Miss, now you've done it. Uh oh, he's dropping a nuke. Miss, miss, Duck. miss, miss, hit, hit, miss, miss, miss. Two can play that game. Okay, so three by three. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. It uh, is it, uh, is it by like middle or something? By the middle, yes. Three by three radius. Let's give it a shot. Miss, miss, miss. Miss, 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 hit. Oh, you got oh, something. Hit. You destroyed my DeSoto. Miss. Miss. Hit. Miss. Hit. You squished my squad car. Miss. Oh, we're on, we're on the uh, right page now. Is it? Well, I, I guess I, I guess I do have uh, plenty of three by threes to use, but still. Hit. Ha ha. Trampoline. There you go. Miss. Go again, you knucklehead. Oh yeah, I forgot. If if your opponent hits Miss. the trampoline, then they get an extra turn. Oh. Miss! Don't! Hit! Confound it! Hit! Miss! Miss! Aha! Miss! What the? I, I was, I was uh, sure he had me there. Hit! Uh oh! Hit! Hit! Miss! That's a big one, isn't it? Hit! You totaled my trailer! Hit! It goes without saying, but the game will end when one of your cars are completely destroyed. Well, when all your one cars, of... I mean. Just... I'm about to say, I, 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 if that was the case, you would have beaten me a long time ago. Oh. Miss! Hit! Alright, buddy boy. If I put, uh, uh, is it by the point of the nuke? By the point of the nuke, yeah. Miss, 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 miss. Well, damn. Damnation. Hit. It's two and two. Miss. Miss. Well, not that way. Miss. Hit! You torched my taxi! Miss. Alright, the game is afoot. Miss. Now you've done it. Oh no! Hit! Hit! Miss! 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 That wasn't nearly as violent as I thought it was going to be. Miss! Hit! It's a, good thing, it's a good thing Michael Bay hasn't heard of this game, or else he'd make a crappy movie out of it. Miss! Just like he did with the original source material. Miss! <laughs> Hit! Oh boy. Ooh, Miss. you got some. Hit! Trampoline! Since I've already Don't. tried that shot, I'll let the computer pick one. Miss! Go again, you knucklehead! 
Hit. Miss. Uh oh, he's getting ever so closer. Hit. You killed my horse. Miss. Only need to find that tiny little dinky car now, but it could be anywhere because it's one spot. Yep. Miss. Miss. Well, at least he has the same, uh, he'll have the same luck as me. Miss. 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 And you haven't hit any of his trampolines either. Miss. And go, <laughs> go me. Miss. But there's a first time for everything. <laughs> Miss. 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 Couldn't hit the broadside of a bomb. Miss. 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 Oh, he's getting ever so closer. Miss. 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 Oh, God. Miss. 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 Hit. You bounced my butt. I win. Yes. And you won. I always win. Try to get out of your queue. I think so, yeah. Lord, I'm tired of this drivel. <laughs> Well, it was a fun little distraction, but now it's time to get back to business. Yes, back to the ball of twine. How much time you got left now after all that? Oh, I still got a good 12 minutes in me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but man, if, uh, if this game were released like uh, recently, man, I don't think that car ge uh, that car bomb game would exist. <laughs> no kidding, right? Yep. Nope. So now you got to look for Shavul's mood ring, which is somewhere in the ball of twine. I'm thinking it's somewhere right where that red, uh, red rope is. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. No, not the actual red rope. I mean, the ball of twine itself. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Oh. Okay, Words yeah, like I guess... Words and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Not to mention grotesque. All right, I guess I gotta make it obvious. You're gonna have to extend your reach. I saw it from the first moment I laid eyes on it in the menu. That might be a good idea, but the golf ball retriever's still broken. Oh, yeah, wait. the retriever's broken. You're gonna have to attach something to it. Something... <sighs> something grabby. Ah. Jesse James' severed hand. And it's still twitching. Put yourself to good use. <laughs> there you go. Or I can always just throw Max in with his grabby hand like that. <laughs> oh lord. Oh. So close. Well, that was useless. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mailbox. You're gonna need to attach something else, uh, with because the hand is always gonna be there in the first place, but you're gonna have to attach something that'll attract the metal. Huh. But wait, is it, is it okay for the fish head to be there? Yeah, it's fine. There's actually gonna be something else that you can attach to that thing too, but we'll worry about that later. One more time with Gusto. Bingo! Uh, that was delicious. Awesome. Not to mention physically improbable. All right, let's give that thing back to its rightful owner. The one ring to rule them all. Oh, and by the way, right, beats. You, uh, well, uh, get get this out of your system first. You don't have to worry about the magnets restarting every time you leave the mystery vortex. They'll still be purple, so you can still easily access Shavul. Well, blue, bud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. 
All right, so all I have to do is give the ring over to uh, Mr. Mole Man there. Yep. You're back, and we're bigger than a bread box. Three bread boxes, even. What do you want now? You got something that you might want. Is this your ring? <gasps> you found it. Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait! You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Frog Rock, by the way, that's what he, that's what he said before. Yeah, but Frog Rock is where you need to go. There's two locations between them. Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. Wonderful and seizure like, Go back in there and ask him about Bigfoots again so that I can hear what uh, locations you have to look for. Can you hear just fine over there? I mean, I can You're hear bad. it, but not all the way. A bread box. Three bread boxes, even. What do you want now? Yeah, just ask him about well, the Bigfoot and then now. repeat to me Make what two locations he says. What do you want now? Where did you say Frog Rock is? It's between the world's largest stump and the eternal plain of acid rain, man. It's between the world's largest dunk and uh, the plain, uh, the eternal plain of acid rain. Okay. All right, I got it. So you're gonna have to go back to the ball of twine again. Well, I guess that's all for now. Make yourself at home. Want me to stay silent again? No, 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 no. Because uh, you, you, you still have to explain that whole, uh, you, you know, the whole mystery of uh, what exactly we're looking for here. Yeah. So basically, what you're looking for is at the top, is at the restaurant at the top of the ball of twine. You're going to have to use the uh, special binoculars there. I can't Do we have you, I, up. Oh wait, 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 wait! Real for quick, before you before you go on, try picking up your car several more times until Max says just ignore them. No, really, I can't pick that up. Are you dense? I can't pick that up. Read my lips. I can't pick that up. I give up. <laughs> now you've done it. You've broken Sam's spirit with your stupid attempts to pick up that silly object. In fact. If I didn't find his pitiful sobbing so amusing, I'd come out there and rip your limbs off. <laughs> Just ignore them, Sam. Maybe they'll go away. <laughs> Just one of the funnier things they do in this game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> kind of remind, kind of reminds me of Discworld, where uh, if you if you clicked on the main character enough times, he would all he would often say, "All right, let's see how you how well you do without this," and take your cursor away. <laughs> So anyways. Funny enough, Kikoski uh, is doing uh, Discworld 2 on his YouTube channel as we speak. But anyway, oh. Kikoski, uh, one of, uh, another a guy I subscribe to, he's another Let's Player. He, uh, he, right. I, I actually watched him do a Let's Play of Discworld, so that's why I know what you're talking about. <laughs> he's actually, yeah, like I said, doing Discworld 2. Anyway. Take a leg, Max. What, what, uh, what system was that on? PC. Ah, I have the uh, I have the PS1 version of that game. Oh, I didn't know they made it for the uh, PS1. One of the very first games that I got along with the original Resident Evil. Nice. Anyway, so you're gonna have to do some things here in order to get this to work because uh, you can't use the binoculars right away because they because the restaurant itself is out of control as the Swami over there mentioned. So what you gotta do is first you gotta grab those cables that are on the ground. With our bare hands? Yeah. He's a cartoon character. He can take it. 
you can't, uh, you won't be able to move from this position, so just attach them to the binoculars. Woohoo! That was enlightening. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You were saying? Fuzzy. Oh, maybe not. And before you can actually use it, you the, the remember that fisheye lens that you got from the carnival? Ah. Uh, Attach it to there so that you can get a better look at what you're looking at. Okay, I've launched the magnifying lens in front of the mounted... Now use it. You know, for a second there, I figured he might have gotten uh, telekinetic powers like Erners P. World and goes to jail. <laughs> that would have been something. So here's the thing: you can now control this here binoculars with the left and right mouse. With the left and right mouse, by clicking right, you'll move the dial uh, to uh, the. It basically is going in the direction that the dial is. So clicking right will make it go right, and putting it in the middle will completely make it stop. Yeah, you said the direction that the dial is because it's going it's going every which oh, way. Oh, I think maybe you, uh, okay, maybe you have to click on the actual thing itself going to the other direction. Like, I mean, clicking on the other side of the dial that's not occupied by the needle. I think that does it. Nope. Shoot, I'm, I thought it was clicking the right mouse button that does it. Aha, here it is. So, basically, now you need to find the rock between those two locations that Shavul mentioned. That's the Enchanted Argyle Forest. That's the Enchanted Argyle Forest. Keep looking. It's the inexplicable Valley of Lights. Not there. Thought that look pretty. Mm-hmm. Mount Badrich. Not there. <laughs> Still, a burning mountain <laughs> of tires. Encouraging, right? Yeah. And it doesn't get any better. The largest stump in the world. Ah. He said, uh, he said it was between this, so... Why, it's the eternal plain of acid rain. Ah, so it's somewhere in So you need here. to find the rock that's between them. Hmm, it's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. It must be frog rock. Bingo! Hit. So just escape with Q, I believe. I think I can see frog rock. We off! I've got to use this elevator. And usually shall. But first we gotta stop the video because we're going uh, we're going crazy. Yeah. <laughs>